Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And we're excited to share with you that we just finished four review videos uh, for Home Depot and they are now on homedepot.com. We'll actually put a link to them below. And the cool thing is, is they're kind of really random. They don't really relate to each other, but guess what? We made them relate. <laughs> we did. So we're gonna share, uh, quickly overview those four products with you today and how they've all come together. So where do we start, Mom? Well, the first thing that we got was a toilet. It was like, okay, we gotta put a toilet in. And you know what? We need to replace the one at Steph's house because she's got an original toilet in that house and it continued to leak even though she I think took all the guts out of the back of it continued to leak and we thought that would be the perfect place to put that toilet and we decided oh let's go ahead and do like a little mini makeover of your bathroom area so that's what we did that's how we use all four of those products to begin this is the original toilet so you can see how it's leaking in there okay I'm gonna use the plunger with the flange We first removed the water from the old toilet, and to remove the excess water, we soaked it up with puppy pads. Puppy pads are super absorbent and hold onto liquid without dripping. We removed the old water supply line. Again, a puppy pad absorbed the excess water. And the toilet was easy to remove by taking off the caps and removing the nuts and washers. And don't be alarmed, that odd colored sticky stuff is just wax from the wax ring that seals the toilet. We scored the caulk around the toilet a tiny bit and were able to lift the toilet straight up and we put it on a furniture dolly to get it out of the bathroom. Now, the floor flange is exposed and we put a puppy pad in the middle to keep the sewer gases from escaping. This looks a little gross, but it really is no big deal to clean up. What you see here are old pieces of the wax seal and you just need to clean this up to prep the area for the new toilet. We found that Mineral Spirits did a good job at cleaning the floor flange and we used a plastic razor blade to scrape off the old caulk. The new toilet came with new nuts and bolts that we placed inside the floor flange. We made sure they were perpendicular to the wall using a laser measure. Just a warning, your dog will be very interested in all the new smells during this project, but I will say it was way less smelly and messy than we had originally imagined. We put a new wax seal on the bottom of the toilet, put the bolt right on top of the bolts, leveled it out, and secured it with the enclosed wing nuts and caps. We brought the tank in, prep the bottom and put it on the bowl. We attached the water supply line to the tank and to the wall, added the seat with lid, turned on the water and flushed the toilet and success. Once the toilet was installed, it was time to do some decorating. So we actually have the perfect place to put some shelves right above the toilet. And this was the perfect opportunity to put some shelves in and we were able to stain them with the new Husky Gravity Fed HVLP spray gun. And you know what? That is really a nice tool. We are very impressed with I that tool. I am very impressed yes. with that. I af After we did her shelves, we actually did a desk that I just recently refinished. And you know what? I think it's going to be my favorite way to refinish or to put a finish on a piece of furniture. Yes. A nice, solid, smooth finish. It's the best. Definitely better than, than uh, hand brushing rolling on. or brushing. Yes. To attach the shelves, we decided on these Crate and Palette 6-inch forged steel shelf brackets. We marked the placement, drilled a pilot hole, added anchors and secured the brackets. We lined up the second shelf level with the first shelf and repeated the process. Lastly, we secured the shelves to the brackets. And then the third thing we did, we thought, okay, now we have these shelves. We need a little decor. Well, I had this picture frame that was an odd size, so we decided to use this, this glass cutter that we got to add glass to that. And you know what? You can buy sheets of glass at the Home Depot, and actually they were way more inexpensive than I thought they would be. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a very good glass cutter, and, um, and it made great artwork for the bathroom. And lastly, we also got a caulk gun because, you know, there's always caulking projects to do around the house. During this project, we learned that it's really important to caulk around the toilet. One, to keep dirt and mess from getting under the toilet, and two, to help the toilet stay secure in place. We also learned it's a good idea to keep the back section uncocked so that if something happens with a leak under the toilet, you'll eventually be able to see it coming out of the back. And we got a nice smooth edge using a silicone sealing edge tool. There you go. We used all four in one project. Four so. unrelated things that came together in a mini bathroom makeover. 
these four DIY projects could all be done over a weekend for a major improvement to your bathroom. And to learn more about these products, we will put a link to them below and to our website um, and to the videos on Home Depot's website because it's pretty cool. We're it's pretty, pretty excited cool. about that. So thanks for joining us. Um, if you want to see any more kind of room makeovers, mini makeovers, things like that, let us know in the comments below what would you like to see us work on next. And here is a video right here to a uh, big makeover that we did of this very garage that we are in right now. Okay. okay. I think that's okay. You can record it next time. Record it next time? It wasn't recording? Are you kidding me? Did you know that? It is recording. <laughs> Where? <laughs> right there, it's recording. I can absolutely can't. Oh, oh, I'm <laughs> so, oh my oh. word.